Jewish soldier fights not because he hates what's in front of him, but he loves what's behind him. Hi, this is Lloyd Allen at FixingMarriages.com, the place where marriages are fixed, lives are empowered, and families are restored. Today I'd like to speak to Dad. I'd like to speak to fathers, and today you, you'll be able to assess whether you are a good father. A good father is a true soldier. He fights for his family. And so I want to share with you three ways in which a good father fights for his family. Let's move on. A good father. Are you a good soldier who fights for your family? Number one. A good soldier stands. A good soldier stands his ground on the battleground. And in the same way, a good father stands his ground on the home front. Are you a good father? How do you stand your ground? First of all, you stand your ground because of your children. You stay at home. You stay for your children. You stay with them. You don't leave your children. You see, when you leave your children, what do you do? You're, you are really binding them hands and feet and throwing them into outer darkness. You are robbing them of the ability to gain a good perspective on manhood. Who is to show them what manhood looks like if father is not at home? That's one of the reasons you should stay at home. Stand for your children, especially boys. Boys need a man to teach him what manhood really is. Of course, a lot of women can do a good job training sons, but it's different when the father is present. The, father, the son needs a father. Also, your daughter needs you. Did you know that a lot of daughters who become victim of sexual promiscuity and rape, etc., a lot of them, because they do not have a father at home. The father's job is to validate his daughter. Give her a true definition of womanhood. Let her know that she may not be the best but she's somebody beautiful. She's worthwhile. A lot of girls, because they don't get that kind of validation and affirmation from their father, they go out on the street and the man tells them, oh, you're looking good, you're beautiful, you're the best thing I've ever seen. They say, wow, somebody thinks that I'm good. Somebody believes in me. And so easily, they wander away from the fold. And they become entrapped in the, in the wrong company. Bad marriage, bad relationship. And it's not long before they become a menace to society and they fall by the way. But if they had a dad at home who affirmed them, who gave them a true sense of belonging, a true sense of value and worth, their future might have been so, Dad, three ways in which you fight for your family. Number one, you stand your ground. You stay for them. And you ensure that they are protected. You provide for them physical nourishment and also emotional and mental nourishment. You give them a true sense of psychological stability. The Bible is a biblical principle as well. 
He says, your children shall be like olive plants round about your table. Psalms 128. Your children like olive plants round about your table. It is not just the table that is important. It is your presence at the table that makes it your table. And so, they are like olive plants round about your table because you are there. What, what do olive plants do? They are sucking the nutrient from the immediate environment. That's how they grow. Your children, like sponge, they're absorbing the nutrient from the immediate environment. And the first place, the first ground, the first soil, the first fertile ground is the home. And so what they learn at home can dictate to a large extent what they become later on, even their career, the kind of person they marry, who they become as a citizen, what they learn from their home. Did you know that one of the major influences in dictating what a child becomes later on in life is their upbringing? So remember, Dad, it is your presence at the table that makes it your table. You need to be there for your children. What about that? Also, you stand your ground for your spouse. You made the commitment to care for her in the first place. She was given to you as a, as a good steward. The family is <laughs> lent to you. And as a good steward, your job is to care for your family. So, if your family is in trouble, you, dad, seek counseling. You, husband, be the first to seek counseling. For it is your job primarily to ensure that the organization that you head function well. You are ultimately responsible for the success of your family. Ultimately responsible. So, if your family is failing and your marriage is being shattered, it is your job first and foremost to seek help so that there is no shame lying at your door. For you are ultimately accountable for the organization that you head. You are the head of the home. Seek counseling if your family is in trouble. Okay? Stay. Stand your ground for your spouse. You took the commitment to care for her. She needs a shoulder to lean on. She needs you to build her self-esteem. As a matter of fact, one of the, it is st statistically proven, studies have confirmed that one of the major areas of depression for women is low Self-esteem. As a matter of fact, the most important area of concern for women and the number one area of depression, cause of depression for women, is low self-esteem. A woman depends, especially the married woman, she depends on her husband for the building of her self-esteem. So, tell her that she's wonderful. Build her self-esteem with your words. Be there for her. Be there for her. Okay? And when you're at home, make home a beautiful place. Okay? Make home a beautiful place. Not a, not a cold stone transforming your home into a moral refrigerator. Alright? Not a place where it's always hailing and snowing because of the negativity and the wrong attitude. No. Make up your home a place of sunshine. And if you follow my other videos, one of the best ways to fix your marriage is to be positive. Celebrate your spouse. Praise them. Love them with your words. So that's the second reason you should, first reason you, a good soldier fights for his family by standing your ground.
The second way, a good soldier fights for his family, in this case the husband, is number one, standing, number two, fight. Why should you fight? Because there are enemies that threaten to usurp, <laughs> to capture, to destroy what you hold dear. And so you must fight. You must fight the temptation from other women. Ah, yes, that's important. It's an enemy. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So our prayer must be not just God to keep me from the evil, but also keep me from the temptation. <laughs> yes. So one of the areas that you should fight, fight the temptation from other women, number one. Number two, fight the temptation from the media. The media is ready to instruct you, to indoctrinate you, to mess with your mind, to give you a, a faulty concept of family, to give you a distorted view of your responsibility and duty as a man. The media can do that. So you must fight the temptation from the media. For a lot of men, they get the cues of how to be a dad from the media. And some of them, they learn the wrong lessons. They run around with women. They cheat. They go out with the boys and they, and they smoke and they drink. For the media is giving them wrong definition of manhood. Protect the temp from the temptation from the media. Okay, protect yourself from temptation from the media. Also, protect yourself from temptation from your friends. That's important too. A lot of men are become victim of serious pitfalls because they are led in the wrong direction by their friends. You must protect yourself from the temptation of your friends. The friend, for example, say, well, man, you're going home to your old lady. You're not a man, man. You should be able to stay out late and do anything you want to do when you're out and go home anytime. You're not the man at home. Because they may have had a faulty definition of manhood from their <laughs> thwarted, their skewed, their faulty parenting. Their upbringing might have been flawed and so they would influence you in the wrong direction. So you must fight because there are enemies out there who would want to destroy your proper perspective of the family. So protect yourself from the temptation from other women, temptation from the media, temptation from your friends. Remember that. How else does a man fight, a good soldier fight? Number one, you fight by what? Standing your ground. Number two, you fight by just fighting. And number three, you fight through kneeling. Kneeling. You kneel for the safety of your family. Because there are enemies more powerful than you who'd want to destroy your family. You pray for the preservation of your family. Psalm 101. The psalm, it says a good word. He says, I, I walk in my home in a perfect way. You should be kneeling at home, praying for your family. And as you pray, you become an example to your children of how to be a good father. For children learn by two ways. Number one, they learn through participation. And number two, they learn through observation. What the child is saying, Daddy, 
What you do speaks so loudly, I cannot hear what you are saying. They are observing you. It is what you pattern before them that they imbibe, that they embrace, that define the kind of father they become. What example are you at home? Dad, I'm talking to you. And so there are three ways, Dad, that you fight for your family. Number one, you fight by what? Standing your ground. Be firm. Stay there and protect the children and the family and your wife and be there for them. Number two, you fight by just fighting. For you cannot stand still when the enemy is coming. You've got to be on the offensive. And number three, you fight by kneeling. You kneel to, pre to protect your wife, her health, her strength, and her sanity. You kneel for, uh, to preserve your children from the power of peer pressure. Influencing drugs and alcohol and you name it. Wrong, inf wrong friends, wrong society. You are praying for the stability of your home. For you need help. There are enemies out there more powerful than you. You need a help that exceeds theirs. And you need the help of the Almighty. Go forth and be a dad who is a true soldier. A true dad is a courageous soldier that fights for his family. Love you. God bless you very much. And um, please like and subscribe. If you like this video and you, you, you got something of value from it, then like and subscribe so you can be notified when I put out another video. And the question of the day is this. What would you like me to talk about in my next video? Just indicate your answer in the comment section below. Okay? And that will inform my, the content of my next video. This is Lloyd Allen at FixingMarriages.com. Walk good, love you, and see you next time.